Hi there and welcome to the solar update video for September 2022. So what's been happening this month? Well not a lot really but winter is coming and what I've found myself doing this month is actually part charging the battery overnight on cheap rate octopus uh, electricity in order to see me through the day as there has been a lot less solar activity in uh, September than previous months in the summer as we'll see in a moment. But before we get into the stats, let's just remind ourselves of my solar panel system. Uh, so 14 Jinko 390 watt panels, uh, totaling 5.4 kilowatts, 10 on the south and four on the east, and a solar edge four kilowatt inverter. So that's the solar side. On the battery side, we've got the three kilowatt AC inverter and the eight kilowatt Gen 1 Give Energy battery. And then of course, I've got a few extra bits and bobs such as the My Energy Eddy heating the hot water, the Harvey and the Herb, and the Hypervolt EV charger. So this is the month of September, 30 days. And you can see the uh, 30th day was not so great, but overall 530 kilowatt hours started off with 29 kilowatt hours on the first day and then we've kind of had a 30 kilowatt hour day in there as well so they were kind of the best two days of the month and then we had a really bad day of a seven and that wasn't the worst day though as i said before the 30th was the worst day with 5.63 uh, kilowatt hours so for the month 530.86 obviously going downhill now compared to the other months of summer which were all fairly similar but obviously we've seen a marked drop in uh, September. So how did we use this 530 kilowatt hours of electric? Well first up we've got the eddy and most days we use the eddy to heat the hot water. We used 107.2 kilowatt hours in the eddy in September. Only the odd day uh, sort of there where we didn't really have uh, any uh, energy going into the hot water system um, but we weren't we didn't have days where we had no hot water we still just had a cooler hot water should I say hopefully the boiler will kind of take over and heat the hot water when we decide to turn that on so this is the hypervolt graph uh, taken from the hypervolt uh, online uh, dashboard in the browser August obviously was a big month we used a lot in August uh, but September we just used 40.8 uh, kilowatt hours on the charger and that would have been all free during the daytime um, via solar uh, compared to obviously you see the 110 that I used in August but yeah 40.8 in September through the hypervolt EV charger so what have we exported this month? Well, as you can see, very little in September compared to other months. Uh, the odd day we did sort of get four or five kilowatt hours out the door. But as there was less coming in, uh, there was less going out, uh, which is probably a good thing. So it just meant that we were kind of using everything that we were getting. So for the whole month uh, of September, we exported 51.25 kilowatt hours of electric. Uh, and when I do the sums in the minute, it, it doesn't really add up to much, to be honest, even though it was 50 kilowatt hours. How does that compare over the other months? Well, June and July, we exported a lot and then August a bit less and then September even less. So it's the lowest month for export so far. So this is our electricity consumption, what we've actually drawn from the grid. Now, some of this is overnight on cheap rate and some of this is, uh, well, very little on daytime rate. Um, but basically quite low use, four or five kilowatt hours, six kilowatt hours. Uh, mainly what I've been using is I've been sort of pre-charging the battery, as I said at the beginning, a little bit just to give us sort of to wake up with 40, 50, 60, 70 percent charge already in the battery so that we just get enough sun to kind of top it up to 100 percent. And on the last day we did use, oh, actually, that's the first of October. So uh, omit that. That was when I put a big charge in the car overnight. So for the whole month, I used, I imported 95 kilowatt hours of electric. And obviously June, we imported a lot because we didn't really have the battery. And then it went right down in July. And then in August and September, we used a little bit because I was sort of part charging the battery a little bit. 
Um, so that's why it's gone up again in September because I've been part charging the battery a bit more. So with that import figure, uh, daytime we imported 8.64. The reason for that is because I didn't do it on purpose. Um, it's just because of the ramping up and down of the battery and things, you do kind of bring in a little bit of electric from the grid. And overnight, as you can see, most of it was on go at seven and a half pence per kilowatt hour. And we used 86.72 kilowatt hours overnight. So let's have a look at the sums then for September. Uh, as billed by Octopus Energy, importing 8.64 kilowatt hours by 40 pence is £3.47 for the month. And the nighttime rate of 86.72 kilowatt hours by 7.5 pence is £6.50. And we exported 51 kilowatt hours at 4.1 pence because we're on go, uh, which came to a very low £2.10. So if you add the two numbers up at the beginning, comes to 997 that we imported minus the £2.10 that we exported, gives us a total uh, electricity spend of £7.87 pence for September. And that includes heating the uh, hot water in the house with the eddy, putting a little bit of charge in the EV and obviously running the house as well. So not too bad for September, £7.87 pence in total. So those numbers didn't include the standing charge. So if you're interested in the standing charge, this seems to doesn't really change month to month, just depending on the number of days in the month. Obviously, we didn't use any gas at all because we haven't turned the boiler on yet. The electric cost, as I said, was 787 and the standing charges are 27.22 pence a day by 30 days in September gives us 817. And the electric is 37.65 pence a day. That's because I'm on a fixed rate with go for a year. Uh, times by 30 days is £11.30. So if you add those two up, I spent £19.47 pence on standing charges and £7.87 on electric. So in total, £27.34 pence in total is what I spent, including standing charges for the month of September. Obviously, those rates of the gas have gone up by about a penny because of the October 2022 price rise, whereas my electric has stayed the same because of the go fixed rate that I'm on. So that was September 2022. Uh, what do I expect to happen next month? Well, probably even less solar production, and I'm probably expecting to turn the boiler back on and also charge the battery even more overnight. So we'll see what happens next month. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll speak to you soon.